Today has been really, really exhausting for me. As I mentioned in the last video, my dad's been away in Germany on some art exchange project thing. I'm not really totally sure what it is. And he got back this evening, but not until late. And because my mum obviously had to go to work, I was kind of left to like fend for myself, as my parents put it, for most of the day. So that was really, really really exhausting. It was kind of horrible because I would do something that I had to do and that would make me feel really really ill and then I'd have to just go to bed and lie down and not do anything until I'd recovered from that and then I'd have to do another essential thing and it was just... <laughs> Hmm. Days like this just make me realise how dependent I am on everyone around me. I have, you know, no independence whatsoever. Stark reminders of that never make you feel great, do they? So it's just been one of those days. But my dad got back this evening. He had a great time by the sound of things. So things will be a bit more normal for the rest of the week. I think that will uh, be really good for me. Guess what? I'm in a lot of pain again. I have to laugh because if I don't laugh, I will cry. <laughs> It's concentrated in the muscles in my face, like at the front here and underneath my eyes, behind my eyes, not underneath. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's coming from my jaw, my TMJ, and like 90% sure of that. But I still don't know why it's coming from my TMJ because I'm wearing my mouth guard. It shouldn't be, but I don't think that's working anymore. And that is a realisation that I've been coming to over the last week or so, and it's... <sighs> It's kind of a heartbreaking one because if you remember when I first got the mouth guard fitted on my upper teeth, it worked amazingly and it was so good to be out of pain and then slowly that stopped working and it caused really bad nerve pain in my face and so I then switched to one that was fitted on my bottom teeth. That never quite worked as well but it sorted out the nerve pain which was like way worse than the, um, the jaw pain I was experiencing and I did always have the worry in the back of my head that maybe this mouth guard would cause nerve pain as well but it's been quite a few months now and it hasn't I was sort of feeling quite confident and then the last few weeks I've had muscle pain in the same place that I had nerve pain in it's not nerve pain it's not because it's not that kind of sharp I mean nerve pain isn't like any other type of pain is it people who've had it will know so it is muscle pain but I don't know why again I don't know why it's happening the only thing I can really do about it is go and see a private doctor dentist one of the two, who specialises in TMJ that my NHS dentist mentioned the last time I was there. But that's going to cost a lot of money. And that is the another heartbreaking part of it. The other thing I'm thinking about is maybe not doing that and going to see a chiropractor instead. Seeing a chiropractor is something I've wanted to do for a long time, being basically bed-bound. I mean, I'm not bed-bound because I can get up out of bed to go to the bathroom, to have a shower every few days, and when I have to leave the house for medical appointments, but really that is the only time I get out of bed. And bodies are not meant for that, and that does have serious detrimental effects on your muscular system, your skeletal system. So I've wanted to see a chiropractor for a while, and then I saw on Twitter, someone who also has TMJ said that seeing a chiropractor really helped hers. So I'm wondering if that's something that could work. But for that I need to research chiropractors and I can't do that when my pain's this bad because I can't look at my computer screen. So I'm just stuck. Thank goodness today has been a relatively low pain day. Yesterday, particularly yesterday evening, was so, so bad. Oh my goodness, it reached unbearable levels. I couldn't do anything. I was just in survival mode. I was just existing as I mentioned in not the last video but the one before that I think. Today has been better physically but mentally I have been so anxious. I think it's just because at the moment I feel like I'm constantly waiting for my pain to become unbearable. I don't know why the pain suddenly becomes unbearable therefore I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know what triggers it. I know I talked yesterday about my mouth guard, wearing the mouth guard, not wearing the mouth guard, but I haven't been able to figure out if one or the other triggers the pain. So even when I'm in a low pain state, I feel so anxious that I'm too scared to do anything in case it triggers the pain. This morning especially was really really bad for that. I didn't want to look at a screen, I didn't want to read, I didn't want to move around too much. I mean, I say move around too much, I never move around much anyway, but you know what I mean when I say that. 
all that left me with was just lying in bed, constantly analysing how I was feeling, and that is just not a healthy thing to do. So this afternoon, I decided, okay, we've had a morning, so far, the pain has stayed away. So I decided to do some yoga. I thought I'll be really gentle, and hopefully that will help calm the anxiety down. So I did do that for about 15 minutes, which was really, really good. And I did feel calmer afterwards. But I think that was more to do with the fact that I did something and the pain didn't come back, as opposed to the actual yoga. But whatever it is, it doesn't matter because I felt better afterwards. You know, a couple of days ago, I said the pattern at the moment seems to be two low pain days and then a run of high pain days. Well, the last two have been low and today has been really, 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 really high. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it's been bad. It's been making me feel really nauseous. So I've just been in bed, heat packs over my, it's been my shoulders today mainly actually, more than my head and my jaw. <sighs> no idea why, of course, but that's my life. So, to cheer myself up, because I was feeling really crappy about today, I ordered myself a bunch of new clothes from ASOS. There's a big sale on there at the moment, and I really need some new, like, springtime, interseason clothes. Is that even a word? Interseason? I don't know. And plus, last spring and summer I was a lot heavier than I am now, so most of my clothes, they don't fit me. So, ordered myself some new ones, and that did cheer me up. <laughs> I was totally expecting today to be really bad. I did not sleep well last night. There was a bloody police helicopter circling, not right above our house, but like over our street at half past three last, or I said last night, this morning I should say. And it was so loud, oh my goodness. And then I was awake early and I didn't get to sleep until late because the neighbours were noisy, so just not much sleep was had. And so I was expecting to feel terrible, plus, you know, I was expecting my pain to be bad today, but it's not, it's not bad. Even on the days when it's been good for the past couple of weeks, it's still been there in the background, but not today. It's there like the tiniest little bit, but I barely even notice it. I mean, I have all my other pains, don't get me wrong, but like the specific like jaw, neck, shoulder, head pain that I've been having so much of recently, that's barely there at all. And I'm so, I'm so relieved. Like, I can't even, I can't even tell you. Honestly, it's just incredible. I haven't really done much today. I had a shower and wash my hair, so I have done something. But again, I've still got that bit of anxiety, that fear that if I do anything, it's going to come back. So just taking it easy and just enjoying not being in pain because, as I say, it's really, really nice. <laughs> really, really, really nice. I'm just about to go to bed, but I just have to document that I'm still not in an excruciating amount of pain. It's been gone all day. I'm so relieved. I hadn't realised how much the pain I was in had been weighing me down. And today I've just felt so much lighter, so much happier. And yeah, it might come back tomorrow or the next day. But I've had one day. One day of freedom from it. And I'm going to try and hold on to that. Because if it's gone away once, it can go away again. Guess what? The pain's back. When I woke up, I thought, as I said last night, you know, if it's gone once, it can go again. And this morning, I, I was very much still in that mindset. But this afternoon, all my positivity seems to have gone out of the window. It's just so heavy and like weighing me down again. I just don't have the energy to pretend to be okay. 99% of the time, when I interact with people, I pretend to feel better than I am. And even in these videos, you know, I put on a happy face. I can't do that today. <sighs> Feeling a bit better than the last time I filmed something. I really don't usually film when I'm like that. And to be honest, I'm really not like that very often. I actually can't remember the last time. But it's important to show every aspect of living life with chronic illness. And that is definitely one of them. My pain is much less than it was earlier. My parents got home. They'd been away for the weekend. And my mum gave me a head massage. And it honestly helped so much. Like, it's crazy how much it helped. What I need is just, like, a permanent <laughs> masseuse. Just, like, on standby to massage my head and my neck and my shoulders whenever I feel like I need it. Unfortunately, I feel like that might be a little bit too expensive. This week has been really challenging again. It's funny because I uploaded my video from last week and I called it Higher Pain Levels Are Causing Me Anxiety. And I feel like I should call this one Higher Pain Levels 
are causing my depression to be worse or something along those lines because the effect of the higher pain this week has shifted from anxiety to depression i just hope so much that next week is lighter thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i don't think it's going to be too enjoyable but you never know thank you for watching and i'll see you again next week bye